During the week of 12 September 1955, shipboard carrier suitability trials of new and different types of aircraft were conducted aboard the USS Ticonderoga off the Virginia Capes. Among these airplanes were the McDonnell F3H2N Advanced Demon and the F7U3M, the A4D and the F4D. Deck handling characteristics of the aircraft were also evaluated. The McDonnell F3H is spotted on the port catapult on the center line. The first launch is made without the use of afterburner power. Touch and go landings, which are generally made for pilot qualification and to determine bounce characteristics of test aircraft, were a part of the carrier trials. Final approach speeds of the Demon during touch and go landings were varied. The Demon takes a wave off using military power only. Still another wave off, this time using afterburner. Full slats and flaps were used at all times during wave offs with or without the use of the afterburner. With the ship's arresting gear raised, the F3H comes in and catches the number three wire. The F3H2N Demon was developed jointly by the United States Navy and the McDonnell Aircraft Corporation of St. Louis, Missouri. The demon goes below for refueling. The F4D Sky Ray is brought up the deck edge elevator. At the same time, the F7U3M is shown here spreading its wings prior to launching. The F-4D Sky Ray is launched from the port catapult. And the F-7U Cutlass is launched from the starboard catapult. The shuttle returns from the previous shot as the A-4D is spotted on the starboard catapult. The Skyhawk is launched. Steam from the C-11 catapult obscures the deck momentarily. The A-4D Sky Ray approaches for its first touch-and-go landing. The Skyhawk stays in the landing pattern and goes around for another touch-and-go. The F-7U Cutlass follows and makes a touch-and-go. On its next time around, the Cutlass settles to the deck and catches a wire. As the F-4D catches a wire, the A-4D takes a wave off. The A-4D makes an arrested landing. The Demon is shown being launched from the port catapult in the first of a series of reduced catapult end airspeed tests. Barriers or barricades were not used during the trials. All operations were conducted with a clear deck and a power on landing technique was employed. This time the Demon is fired off center with a still lower catapult end airspeed. The Demon lands as off center catapult shots and reduced end airspeed tests continue. With another reduction in catapult and airspeed, and position still further off-center, the Demon is launched again, 
Off-center launches were made using military power only. Specified tire pressure of 300 pounds per square inch proved satisfactory for the Demon. Only two tires were changed during the trials, and one of these because of deck handling damage. Now the Demon is launched at the lowest catapult end airspeed for the trials. Following the launch, the pilot fires the afterburner. As the plane begins to climb out, the pilot cuts the afterburner, which is detected by a plume of black smoke. The pilot brings the demon by the ship in a moderate speed pass. And this time the demon is flown by the ship at low speed. Landings were made at various sink speeds and gross weights. With military power, the demon pulls up sharply after a catapult shot. The demon makes an approach and engages a wire in another off-center landing. The demon spotted on the port catapult for a shot with the afterburner on. Note the stabilator set for nose-up trim. pilot takes a cut and makes another off-center arrested landing. Off-center landings were made 15 feet left and 8 feet right of the center line with no adverse characteristics. This time a landing fairly well on center. The shuttle slides under the nose wheel in preparation for another launch which is made without afterburner from the starboard catapult. The pilot takes a cut and catches a wire. On the last day of the cruise with tests completed, all the participating aircraft are being prepared for launching prior to their return flight to the beach. The A4D is launched from the port catapult. With military power, the F3H is fired from the starboard catapult. And the F-4D follows from the port catapult. In final salute, the Demon makes a high-speed pass, lighting the afterburner. In all, the F-3H completed 25 catapult shots and 24 arrested landings during the trials. With carrier suitability trials completed, two F-4D Sky Rays, an A-4D Skyhawk, and the F-3H Demon join up for a flyby over the Ticonderoga before departing for the beach. The ship also heads for shore. Aboard her, naval personnel and contractor representatives now have data and knowledge of the good qualities as well as operational limitations of the test aircraft under shipboard conditions. Their findings and recommendations will doubtless play a large role in ensuring maximum utilization of these aircraft.